Clitheroe Castle. I hardly recognise it. The keep in ruin and other buildings gone completely. Exciting though, seeing the walls still standing, knowing there's so much history inside of them over eight centuries. It has changed over the years, mind. It was wooden in the beginning, and then stone dragged here by cart from Salt Hill Quarry. It's seen civil war, the War of the Roses, raids, sieges, a dragon. Oh yes, even a dragon. Whew. My name is Geoffrey, by the way. Geoffrey Big. Born and raised in the shadow of the castle over 500 years ago, so I know a thing or two about this place. I'll show you what this castle, the second smallest surviving stone-built keep in England, what it meant to Lancashire over the centuries. How it looked and how it was used for battles, dungeons, devils, pigs, oh, and sometimes just a warm place to sleep and eat and look out at the miles and miles of Lancashire in every direction. It was a great place for a guard like me to work because you can see if someone's coming to attack you and whether you've got time for a quick snooze before you have to pick up your mace or your, or your sword or your bow and arrow and shunk. <laughs> I'll be here throughout the tour. So have a wander around, whichever direction, and when you find me, I'll tell you some more. Some more facts and stories. Oh, and I'll show you a mess. Do you like a mess? Oh, I do. Mm, a mess. <laughs> See if you can guess where it is. Oh, and uh, be aware of the dragon. Do you believe in dragons? I don't. 